Gynaecological cancers continue to have a significant impact on our community. This award is named after Senator Jeannie Ferris, a former senator from my home state of South Australia, who died from ovarian cancer in 2007. The 2020 Jeannie Ferris Award recognises the outstanding contributions to improving outcomes for women with gynaecological cancers by Kristen Larson, consumer advocate and our first posthumous recipient since the creation of the award in 2013, and Professor Anna DeFazio, a researcher working in the area of gynaecological cancers. In 2013, at the age of 21, Kristen Larson was diagnosed with advanced ovarian cancer. She dedicated the remaining six years of her life to raising awareness and funds for ovarian cancer. As the face of many campaigns and fundraisers, Kristen appeared across television, print, radio and online media with her story. And through her national and international advocacy, she raised awareness on a global scale. Kristen focused on transforming her diagnosis into something positive. Kristen wanted to give back, speak up and make a difference. It would have meant the world to Kristen that she is being honoured for her remarkable achievements as the recipient of the Jeannie Ferris Cancer Australia Recognition Award. Our family is incredibly proud of Kristen in so many ways. One of Australia's leading translational ovarian cancer researchers, Professor Anna DeFazio, has received the award for excellence in the category of researchers and health professionals in gynaecological cancer. For over 20 years, the breadth and excellence of her work has been undeniable. Anna has devoted her research career and life's work to ovarian cancer research and translating the findings in the laboratory to the clinic. We hope that by understanding about why some patients do so well, we can improve outcomes for all women with ovarian cancer. While this award is in my name, it's really an award deserved by the whole team. I have the pleasure of working with a wonderful team of researchers locally at the Westmead Institute and collaboratively across New South Wales, across the country and internationally.